This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Jack Threads. Everybody's wondering, why did oil prices go up so much? And, and you know, there was the excuse of, oh, Libya, this, that, and other thing. And, you know, they've gone up over a dollar in the, just the last year. And, and if, obviously, over the last couple of months, they've skyrocketed even further. Uh, but then, recently, after the Bin Laden capture, at the end of last week, they started to drop precipitously. And as soon as I saw the drop, I knew it. I was like, yeah. Of course it was the oil speculators. Because, now, why does that happen? So this is very important. What they do is, and normally there'd be normal supply and demand, you know, there's so much oil you can get from Saudi Arabia and the Gulf Coast, et cetera, and, and the demand is, you know, China, India, America, et cetera, we all uh, want it. And, and you know, uh, there's growing demand because China's growing, India's growing. Everybody knows this stuff, right? And where supply meets demand is where your price is, economics 101. But once you get the speculators in, they actually wind up increasing the demand tremendously, not necessarily for the gas that people are actually using or the oil that they're using in the factories, but for the commodities that they are buying. So they're buying oil in a trade. And so for every barrel of oil, sometimes they'll bet a thousand barrels of oil. We've talked about this in the context of what they did with home mortgages. Now they're also doing it with oil. So when that happens, prices start to increase. And, and they do that on purpose. So for example, a company like Goldman Sachs, and I'm not saying it is Goldman Sachs, but a lot of the banks have done this, they will say, hey, you know what? Um, they will take their own proprietary trading, meaning their own trading that their company does, and say, we're going to bet that the price of oil goes up. Then they will take their clients' money, and a lot of times that's your pensions, and they'll say, you know what's a genius place to invest? Oil. So they'll pour in trillions of dollars of their clients' money into oil, and guess what happens? Oil prices go up. And then at some point, in order to make three times the money, because they make money when the price goes up because they were betting that it would go up, that's the long position, they make money off of all that commission as they got people to invest in oil, but they also got to make money on the way down. So at some point, they will short the stock, or in this case, short the commodity. What that means is they bet that the price goes down. And at that point, they send out a panic alert to everybody. Guess what happened? at the end of April. Goldman Sachs put out a report saying, oh, I bet oil prices are going down. And everybody started to panic. And you got th the result of that was what you saw at the end of last week. Now, all of a sudden, oil prices are going down, not a little bit, but a lot. Now, that's good for you and I, but what happened? Now, Goldman Sachs got paid at the last end of that bet. But the people who got screwed, because there's always someone who gets screwed, is all of those investors. So Goldman Sachs and the big banks like that, they kind of remind me of Donald Trump. You know how Donald Trump builds up this huge brand name, and he gets people to invest, and then when things go sour, he takes all the money he made for running it, for commission, for this, for that, for the name of uh, value, etc. And then he goes bankrupt, and he goes, oh, well, sad day for you, man. Was, you shouldn't have invested in that. I was a more savvy investor than you are. And a lot of people, and you saw it in the, again in the home mortgage, mortgage situation, well, Goldman Sachs and some of the other companies were like, this is toxic garbage. But who cares? Let's sell this crap to our investors. So the, those pensions that you and I hold, at some point, they take a nosedive. You don't even realize why. Why? Because they got you to invest in oil when it was high, and they made you sell when it was low. They made the money in the meanwhile. Now, that's robbery for those investors who ultimately wind up becoming us anyway, right? But then the extra robbery comes in higher gas prices. And even Goldman Sachs admitted. Uh, in a report that they put out, and this is fascinating, they said that for every uh, million barrels of oil that are that's held by speculators, it, that re results in an eight to ten cent per barrel rise in oil prices. So I did all the math for you based on a Reuters article that this was in. When you talk about how much was held by oil speculators, and you use Goldman Sachs formula, that means every gallon of gas that you and I buy had about a 70 to 80 cent premium on it for money that the speculators were making. We did not need to pay that high. They took the extra 70 to 80 cents per gallon and put it in their pocket. And they say, hey, listen, we're clever investors. That's the way it works, okay? So all of you had to pay all of that extra money that went straight to them. And then they laugh all the way to the bank. And by the way, why is this happening now when it seems like when I was growing up it didn't used to happen? Well, there was a brilliant article in dailyfinance.com by Bruce Watson that explains it. In 2000, what did they do? 
It was that same Commodity Futures Modernization Act that let them uh, do unregulated derivatives in places like home mortgages, also let them do unregulated derivatives over-the-counter uh, trades on oil prices, on, uh, on commodities like oil, and guess what happened? Since 2000 and on, uh, and on, there has been more and more speculation. You remember the last time the prices went up all the way in, in 2007 and mainly in 2008? The gas prices skyrocketed and then they dropped like a rock, just like it's happening now? Do you know that at that time, and this is another stunning fact, 81% of gas contracts on the NYMEX, that's one of the exchanges there, were held by speculators. 81% of the contracts held by speculators. That's why your prices went up. That's why they went down. That's why they made money off of you for all of that time, and they're doing it again right now. So when the Republicans tell you, oh, drill, baby, drill, what a joke. If you did all of the drilling that the Republicans want, it would at most increase, I'm sorry, decrease gas prices, because remember, we don't get to keep the gas. We don't keep the, keep the oil. It gets sold on a world market. We're a tiny percentage of that world market. At a best case scenario, that decreases gas prices for, by three cents. Meanwhile, the speculation that the Republicans love is increasing gas prices by 70 to 80 cents a gallon. Jack Threads is a new sponsor for TYT. They're a members only online shopping club, but because you know us, you're going to get in. Aren't we cool? <laughs> <laughs> but here's a key part to it 80% off. Hello, up to 80% off of the, some of the top apparel lines in the country. Game over. Right. So go to jackthreads.com slash TYT because it's free to join and you get all those discounts and you avoid the pain in the ass. The ending of this commercial is a little schwang, right? <laughs>